All right, peeps. So um, I'm in the guild of student Carolinors. So we play the bell tower at UT Austin, and usually we perf we perform on Mondays. But yesterday we suddenly found out that we're supposed to perform a concert uh, to commemorate the UT students who passed away today at 8:30, and we have no pieces prepared. So um, I'm going to document how we're going to prepare and. Uh, play that concert. Here are the pieces that I prepared to play. Um, I know Jose is going to have his own pieces. Um, I don't think anyone else is going to be joining us. It's just going to be me and Jose. So I usually start out the concert with a psalm from the Genevan Psalter. So these are like um, uh, Swiss, uh, French, Huguenot tunes um, that they use in the Netherlands and Hungary still. And then Prelude number two, this is, you know, just a piece that I can play um, sort of fast and exciting. And then Taps, that's a military um, sort of commemorative memorial uh, piece, usually for the lost uh, soldiers. Um, and to complement the military piece, we have a religious piece. Um, this one is by, I think, Marty. I forgot his last name. Um, but he composed this melody recently for Psalm 23, which sort of as a um, funeral, memorial, commemorative text. So he thought that would be fitting. And then Cypress Leaf. Actually, this is one. Um, I, I reached out to Reddit to have people compose pieces for us. And um, this is one of the... Let me see. It was one of the submissions that I got from... Uh, Logan Frankovich, so this recording is already on my YouTube channel, but um, it's a pretty cool little piece, so I'm going to play that as well. And then Jose is going to play his own pieces, and he also recommended that we play this in memoriam, um, which is specifically to commemorate those who died in the September 11 attacks. Um, we actually haven't practiced this, so we're going to go to the practice room at 7.45 to practice this. I know Austin Ferguson actually played this uh, for one of the previous um, UT concerts um, uh, of the same type. And Austin Ferguson, he's now a professional Carolinoir at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Um, he's pretty well known. I think his picture is on the Wikipedia page for Carillon, um, for the Carillon. So we're going to play that probably what we'll do is we'll have uh jose play the hands and i'll play the feet which makes it a bit easier and this one is chanson triste by uh tchaikovsky which is another recommendation by jose it's actually not arranged for the caroline it's for um looks like piano here um so we might um i don't know if we're gonna do this but um it's a cool little piece sad song that's what it means um, so we might make a simplification of this real quick and perhaps play it as well. Also this one, Irish Air. Um, I know Justin is actually practicing this now, but it's one of my favorite pieces. It's the second um, piece from a swinging suite. I believe that's by Geert de Hollander, who is the um, Carolinor at the Bach Tower Gardens in Florida. So um, he's from the Netherlands, and he's a famous Carolinor and composer for the Carillon. Um, this piece has a sort of a um, folksy melody to it, so I like to perform it a lot. So perhaps I'll add that to my program. And I think at the end, um, we'll probably add uh, Texas Our Texas. Um, Texas Our Texas, which is... Um, the state song to the end of the program and perhaps toll the bell nine times when it reaches nine o'clock. So I want to time this right so that when it's nine o'clock, we just finish playing this piece and we can toll the, the bottom note um, nine times. All right. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, actually, whenever whenever a reporter like um, a student journalist asks us or, you know, like they email our inbox or reach out to us on social media and they ask um, like in an interview, what is the day in the life of a Carolinor? Um, 
I mean, that's hard to answer because everyone is a student here. Um, we have different schedules, but usually we'll like practice in the morning or in the evening. And then on Monday or, you know, for these special events, go up and play the bells. Um, as for myself, uh, this semester, actually, I just finished school two days ago. And um, this whole semester, actually, I've been going out uh, knocking doors selling solar. So I'm going to go do that and then we're going to come back and practice a bit for this concert. So I just finished knocking some doors. I did um, about a hundred today and I got a few leads and um, one of my appointments is running right now at six o'clock so hopefully we get that sale. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back and um, practice the carillon. All right, it is seven o'clock and actually our guy, um, our homeowner, uh, forgot about his appointment, but he's still very interested about solar, so um, he rescheduled for next Saturday, so I hope I get that sale. Um, but for now, I'm just going to have some soup, and then I'll head over to the tower. Actually, when I was coming back um, from, from uh, door knocking, I heard on the radio that it was Tchaikovsky's birthday today. So this piece, Chanson Triste by Tchaikovsky, that will be a very timely piece for us to play. It's both commemorative, sort of sad, and also um, uh, celebrating um, the birthday of Tchaikovsky. So I'm about to head out. Um, usually I would bike to the tower, but um, look here. They actually sawed through the, um, the thing that I tie my bike to. So they actually stole my bike. Um, but that's fine, we'll just walk there. It's a pretty beautiful walk. All right, so we are in the practice room right now, and I just thought of um, a new idea. So this piece, you might have uh, seen my video on it where I played it on the organ. Ik sta voor u in leegte en gemis. It is a Dutch funeral hymn, so I thought that would be fitting uh, for this concert. So probably what I'll do is I'll just uh, play the bass notes and the melody. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, and here's the practice carillon. And uh, we don't have actual bells, but we do have these tubes here. So if you strike one of them, you know, it just hits the hammer um, onto this bar. And there's a resonating tube above that.
Yeah, and this note, we don't have it on the actual carillon, so that's why it's in blue tape. Yeah. So I'm just going to practice a bit um, in here, and I'll wait for Jose, and then we'll go up. And then here's the computer that actually controls the tower, the tower bells. Yeah, sorry, you missed the first part of it because I shut my video off. And then we can also control the carillon using the keyboard. Um, but we can't do dynamics like loud and soft playing. Um, but yeah, that is an option for electronically controlling it. Which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, like maybe 20 minutes for both times. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck. Alrighty. Yeah. Alrighty. See you guys. So Jose over here was tolling the the bells for the was it UT remembers UT that's what it's called right yeah yeah and that's all, all the people who passed away um is it just this year or just um um both years they had two ceremonies one at 10 a.m. one at 1 mm -hmm. p.m. so 10 a.m. for 2020 and then since then okay yeah because yeah. it looks like they skipped a year due to COVID yeah okay so I see yeah yeah. All right, yeah, look, now um, we're going to practice some stuff together, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry for filming in vertical. Um, oh, I didn't man. bring my salt uh, container holder today. But, um, Let me try this. One. Yeah, let's try. I'll do the feet and then you do the hands. Okay, and then there's also a tempo change and then a back to tempo. Um, should we do that? <laughs> there's the what? It goes from 80 to 100. Interesting. I am not good at determining speeds, though. <laughs> I mean, I just play it through the way it is. Um, okay. If, if it's easy, we could get a bit fancy with it. Otherwise, let's just um, all the way through same tempo. Okay. Okay. So count off because I'm not sure what eighty is. <laughs> 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 Jose is very good about like picking out what was the most important um, oh, thing, oh. like some so some like the ornamentation um, he skipped because he knew it wasn't like that important. Um, yeah, no, no, that's a good thing. Like you're you're very good at that. So um, if we just played it like that, that would be. Um, but I, I missed a note because it's uh, the the um, pressure sensitivity is not very even here. But um, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Nice. So it looks like the bass line is pretty easy to read from this uh, score. Like it's just got the bass line and then this is all um, accompaniment. Um, yeah, but on the carillon, you don't really need to play like all the chords, all the chord members. That is, if you just play the bass line and like the, the melody, um, that should sound pretty good. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're about to head up now. So...
I see Justin coming out of his elevator. Yeah. I doubt it. Yeah, Justin took his roommate up to look at the view. So, yep. No, don't worry about it. I think it's it's another one of those like informal things. Or like, oh, there's yeah. gonna be a concert, and like, no, no, there's no actual audience, yeah. <laughs> except for the, like the usual. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the block is there. So. Interesting. Oh, it looks like there. Huh. It's because, like, it, oh, it's because of the configuration they have. Interesting. Yeah, usually you can see a good view of downtown from there. But I think yep. it's darkened yeah. because of today. Right. So, oh wait, this is, wait, I think the block might be there. No, the block isn't even there. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're, we're stuck here until Justin yeah. gets us. Justin took the keys and okay, we're locked out. 8.30. So. Uh, I hate this one. Okay. I actually, my least favorite key is the last key. Yeah. Now entering the clock room. Yeah, they darkened all the clocks today. Usually these light bulbs are yep. on. But no. Oh. This is the third time I'm up here today. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I was up here twice. So lots of cardio. Yeah. How much are they paying you for this? One fifty. Okay. And I'll give you, I'll give you 60 because taxes. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta flip this switch here. So it's on autoplay now. Inhibiting. Yeah. Actually, did the, did the 830 thing go off? Yeah. Okay, yeah, if it's already gone off. Yeah, it's 33. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll begin the concert then. Um, this is the phone holder, so I'll just put my phone here and we'll see how it's playing. Okay. All right, yeah, we're going to start out with a psalm from the Geneva Psalter, Psalm number six, because it's the only one that I really like that's in minor. Program. We should type out, we can type out like a nice looking yeah. program like the one So for the people wondering if we're nervous, uh, I mean not really because we do this on Monday as sort of an informal thing so it's not like, it's not nerve wracking or anything. Nope. I mean surely we are a little bit nervous because you know it's a, like a, it's an event that the university announced but still. Um, not really that nervous. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, 
Next one is prelude number two. My favorite. Now uh, this is sort of a fast um, piece. It's just chords basically. There's no like real melody in it. But it's um yeah. So I'm gonna play this and then a calmer piece after that for contrast. For the military segment of this concert, we're going to do taps, and then after that, we're going to balance that out with religious, you know, with another psalm, and then uh, to you know end the concert. I mean, I'm still going to play some other pieces, but to end it at the very end, we'll do something political. So, I said Texas are Texas, um, and if we don't find the melody for that, we'll do the national anthem. Psalm 23 is what, uh, who is this? Marty Coggin, right? Yeah, based his piece, Shepherd Me, O God, on. So um, I'm going to play that. Oh, Marty Hogan, or Haugen, or I don't know how to mm -hmm. say it. But, uh, I won't play the. I won't play the. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'll just do it myself. Yeah, it, it's a, it's kind of a mess the way it's organized. Um, 
But I don't know, I'll try my best. Yeah, I mean, it's very succinct, but it's, sometimes I would prefer it to be a bit more linear. Um, Um, how are we doing on time? Because if we're, if we're not running out of, I'm sorry, if we're going pretty uh, slow, then I won't play Cypress Leaf and Irish Air, but if we're... 846. 46. Okay, um, I mean, since we... 13 minutes, yeah. Um, in that case, I probably should play those, so I'm going to do Cypress Leaf and then Irish Air.
the next one is something that I have not practiced a lot, of, but the Dutch funeral hymn, Ik sta voor u in leegte en gemis. Yes. It's also 52. Okay, cool, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get done. Yeah, I had the, the melody memorized, but it looks like uh, two lessons learned. First, a three-part harmony still sounds kind of muddy on the carillon. And second, a horizontal sheet of paper um, should not be used in the future, because the wind will just blow that right off. You know, we have like the fishing line to secure it, but um, it looks like that didn't work with the way it was horizontal. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so Jose and I are going to play the um, two pieces together. In memoriam and uh, the Tchaikovsky piece, Chanson Priest.
Texas or Texas. Alright. Okay. Um, yeah, so we were originally planning to play in Texas or Texas, but we'll just do the national anthem instead. Do um, you have the time? 904. 904. Okay, yeah, looks like we went over it. Um, so we won't do the, the tolling um, at the end, but we'll do the national anthem and end the concert. So that was our concert. Um, I didn't know that my phone could record for 31 minutes straight. Um, but yeah, there, there's a good view. Um, it was nice earlier. Yeah, was, yeah. Like, when you could actually see stuff, but it's still a nice view. Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll record uh, um, the view sometime else. This time it's more about preparing for the concert. Um, hope y'all enjoyed that concert. I'm gonna go home, um, have another bowl of soup. It's based on, you know, um, pozole, right? It's like the... Pozole, yeah. Um, right, I mean, I use rice, but you're supposed to use like nixtamalized corn. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Some meat, and uh, it's mainly like blended chilies that give it that it. red color. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've only had it like maybe once in yeah. my life. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how authentic I made it, because I didn't use corn, I just used like rice. Blessings. And then, yeah, I'll have to... Look at that Perry the Platypus. I'm going to my art club Zoom meeting. Gotta write a letter to my pen pal, who's also in the art club, and read some books. So I'm reading um, some books about Native American and, well, not just Native American, but like language revitalization. Um, That's cool. Yeah, that sort of thing. And a another book about, it's really a dissertation by this, I think, Japanese American guy um, about the tones like intonation of Oklahoma Cherokee, which I think is very interesting because they're syllabary, like they don't, um, the syllabary doesn't account for tone as well as like four or five other things like vowel length, glottalization, um, the H sound. And um, I mean, only at the beginning of like syllables, but H at the end of the syllable is only accounted for, for like two of the like 80 something uh, s syllables. And uh, as well as some other things, but yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. It's been a wonderful day, knocking doors, um, preparing for the concert. Um, Jose is about to graduate and become a teacher in Mainer. Yeah, exciting. Yeah, chemistry. Chemistry teacher, gonna be, um, what's his name? Walter from Breaking Bad. <laughs> what's his name again? Without the drugs and without the counseling. Yeah. Yeah. All right, peeps, thank you for watching and have a great day. Always.